Hello everybody and welcome to my second advanced Excel tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to teach you how to create your own formulas essentially by uh, defining them using the uh, define feature. So what I've got here is just a table and it's got length, width and depth of some boxes and we're going to work out the volume of the boxes. So normally you just do equals that times that times that and that will give you your volume uh, my volumes are huge in this case but that's not an issue um, so this is the formula that I want um, so let's go over here and go to insert name define um, and I want to find the formula volume so I'm going to put it here I'm gonna, it's going to refer to and um, this is where the uh, absolute and relative referencing comes in because we're going to start using some relative referencing um, and we're also going to reference it multiple ranges linked together in a different way so what do we want to do we want to do a2 times b2 times C2 and then click add so and you'll notice here that it's automatically added the sheet sheet tabs onto us for us which is quite useful so make sure you don't have any percent signs because we want them to be relative references um, and then click OK and then you know, what we can do is we can go equals volume enter and then it's going to work out the volume for us um, you notice on these ones that the because we didn't put the uh, dollar signs in this made them dynamic so if we go to insert name and define and click on volume you notice that because we're now in this cell it's changed where the referencing uh, are going so it's gone A5, B5, C5 and if we do the same and click on here and go to define and then go to volume it's on six so it's important to remember that if you're not using the dollar signs then the the definition is not going to record it as the actual what you're typing it's going to record it as a relative reference to where you're where you've got selected so when I'm selecting here and I put in A2 it was actually saying okay we're not really meaning A2 what 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 he's saying to me is define the range that is 1, 2, 3 to the left and in the same row so that's how relative referencing works um, and it takes a little while to get used to um, I've gone through it in more depth if you're in previous tutorials but this is how you want to use it you can of course um, put the dollar signs in if there's something that you want to reference um, consistently across the entire worksheet so say I want to go um, if I want to put uh, maximum volume here um, and I want to say define that so maximum volume let's make the maximum volume uh, 100 one, two, three, 100 thousand let's call that max underscore vol and then in here let's get to insert name and define volume we can then do this one of two ways so we can either go and let's put a little if statement in if all of those are less than max underscore vol comma so if the volume is less than the max volume uh, then we want to go 
not spilt. Otherwise, we'll put spilt. Um, and this is what we want to put to volume, except I've just unselected it, so you get to see it again. Um, rather than put it in volume, I'm going to put a new one, so it goes within capacity. So let's get rid of these because we can just reference them using volume. So equals if volume is less than max underscore vol, comma, not spilt. Make sure you put a load of typos in. Spilt. Add. Okay. So within. Make sure you've got eight within within capacity. And I, I can't handle it. I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Um. So let's put equals within. Capacity. There we go. Enter. And oh no, this has gone wrong. Because as you notice, when we were within the thing, it's referencing the one ones. So we're going to have to go into insert name and define. Go into volume. And we're going to have to put some dollar signs in because we always want it to be dollar A because we always want that one to be column A, dollar B, because we always want that to be column B, and dollar C, because we always want that one to be column C. Okay, and then we'll notice that when we, now we've defined that one, so now we're going to the correct ones, and it's going to tell us that these ones that have, haven't spilt because they're within the capacity, but these ones split because I can't tell, spell spilt wrong, um, and they're over capacity. So that is how you use, um, you can create your own formulas using um, named range, using named ranges. So you're not naming a range, you're actually naming a formula. Um, so that's it for this tutorial if you've got any questions um leave them in the comments below and i'll answer them um whenever i check through my uh through my emails so thanks for listening and i hope to catch you in the next tutorial uh where i'm going to show you how to use pivot tables <laughs>